Good day. My name is Kylan Dulzuk from the Scientific Computing Research Unit of the University of Cape Town. Today, I will be presenting my work on the in silico redesign and de novo design of MUC1 monoclonal antibodies, or simply the use of computational methods to design antibodies against cancer. Cancer is one of the leading causes of death globally, accounting for 9.6 million deaths in 2020. The hallmarks of cancer, such as immune evasion and drug resistance, are caused by alteration of sugars on the cell surface, particularly the sugars of the MUC1 protein. In healthy cells, MUC1 consists of long branched sugars, whereas in cancer cells, these sugars are truncated. This key difference makes MUC1 a viable target for antibody treatment. While there are antibodies that recognize the MUC1 protein, None of these recognize the altered sugars associated with cancer. My research aims to design and investigate the interactions of such an antibody using computational methods. The methods used to achieve this include docking, MMGBSA, single state design, molecular dynamics, and free energy methods. Docking is commonly used to find the best fit when bringing two molecules together and can identify what interaction suits the formation of complexes. Similar to these puzzles, the main idea is about getting the correct fit. The output of docking is a series of possible poses that the cancer-associated ligand could take when in complex with an antibody. These output poses can then be scored using MMGBSA, which predicts the relative binding energies of small molecules to proteins. This is a relatively quick method which gives us an approximation of which antibodies bind the cancer-associated ligand better. Based on these MMGBSA values, structures which bind the cancer-associated ligand will be subjected to single-state design protocols. This process allows us to optimize the binding of an antibody to a specific antigen by sampling random mutations and determining if they are beneficial to binding or not by using an energy function. These improved structures can then be further analyzed using molecular dynamics, which allows us to view how the system changes over time. MD simulations are based on Newton's second law of motion. From a knowledge of the force on each atom in a system, the acceleration and ultimately a binding free energy can be calculated. The workflow of my research involves downloading existing MUC1 antibody structures then docking these structures against the cancer-associated MUC1 ligand. The resulting docked poses are then scored by MMGBSA, and poses which recognize the sugar and peptide region are then selected to generate new optimized structures. Newly designed antibodies are then redocked and rescored with MMGBSA, with the lowest energy structures then going on to be investigated using molecular dynamics to confirm the improved binding. Thus far, 180 antibodies have been docked against the cancer antigen and scored using MMGBSA. Of these, a total of 166 antibodies were newly designed structures. A particular computationally predicted model showed the desired recognition for both the TN sugar and the MUC1 peptide region, and reported a binding affinity of negative 98 kilocal per mole from MMGBSA calculation, a more favorable binding energy than known MUC1 antibodies. These results were achieved in reasonable time thanks to the high-performance computing resources at the CHPC. Calculations were distributed among the 24 threads available on the CHP serial queue, taking 14 to 15 minutes per system, compared to when run locally, which took 30 to 45 minutes per system. Single-state design calculations are computationally inexpensive and were performed on a Linux workstation. Molecular dynamic simulations are currently underway utilizing the Chromax software and GPU resources at the CHPC. In conclusion, the power of high-performance computing is greatly beneficial in investigating and understanding complex molecular systems, such as antibody complexes. This can be used to provide useful insight across multiple relevant research fields, for example, drug design and genetics. Thank you for your attention. I'd also like to thank the CHPC for providing the resources my funders, my supervisors, and the Scientific Computing Research Unit. Thank you.